Hey, Yellow Jackets, Coach Floyd here, and I'm here with Samaya, who is a rising junior, and she is going to help us today showing you what it's like to log into CTLS from the student perspective. Uh, a lot of times the faculty don't know what it looks like for students to log in, so she is gracious enough to come here on her last day of summer and give us a little bit of a tutorial as to where to go and what to do. So what we are going to do first is Samaya is going to go into the get on her computer and, uh, and this is actually what it looks like once you get into CTLS but she is going to log out first let's go ahead and do that do that quick little log out and we're going to start here what we're going to uh, where we're going to start though is on the Sprayberry website uh, if you're not sure how to get to the Sprayberry website I'm going to put the link below uh, it should be popping up right about now and uh, or you can just go and do a quick little Google search but when you come up the Sprayberry website the first slide you're going to see is this digital learning tech support page wanted to talk about that before we got into CTLS. Uh, and Samaya's gonna go ahead and click on the link for the digital learning tech support page. This is just has some resources for you that'll be very helpful as we're doing the whole digital learning process. One of the main, uh, two main features right now of this tech support page is the student guide, which is a, uh, the links for that are below in the resources and useful links section. On the left-hand side is a interactive PDF and that PDF takes you from the login process all the way through navigating in your classes. And there's also uh, videos that are embedded in there if you have some troubles with um, accessing those different sections of the, of the system. On the right hand side is the CTLS student uh, guide. That is the digital form, I'm sorry, a web version of the PDF format that is just to the left hand side. And below that in the bottom right is the SHS student tech support form. Uh, if you have any issues with password, you can't get into student view, parent view, etc., you can go to that form and you can complete that quick form, give some information, and then somebody from the school is going to take care of that tech issue. They're going to email, email call you. They'll get in touch with you. get it all taken care of. So uh, this slide is going to stay up on the website for the foreseeable future, definitely as long as we are doing digital learning. So definitely check that out if you have any type of tech support issues. All right, so Samaya is going to go back to the home page. Or Sprayberry and once we get on the home page he's going to scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see an icon tray and on the icon tray you'll see the second icon in from the right or sorry second in going to the right and it's the CTLS learn icon if you click on that and it's going to open up and since she was already logged in once before it's going to just brought that back up but no worries when you click on that to log in for the first time it's going to bring you to this page and what this is your basic login information your username is going to be username and password is the same information you use for your Office 365 account. And Samaya is entering in her username. And for most of you guys, it's going to be your first name dot last name at students.cobk12.org. And I'll put that link link below or that uh, that username set up right below. And the password is going to be the same password that you would use to log into any computer on campus. So if you can't remember what that password is, you may need to do the uh, tech support form. So once she gets logged in here, you're gonna see four tiles, and those four tiles represent each of the four classes. And each of the four classes has their own little di digital space within the CTLS system. So Samaya's just gonna click on any of those four tiles. She's gonna click one, and this is now taking her into her digital classroom. The digital, this is uh, kind of like the physical classroom, but we can't walk in there. Uh, due to uh, being on digital learning. So this is going to be where we go to do all of education for our classes this year. The three main features that she will see is the instructor section, which tells you who's teaching the class. There's an announcement section, and then there's also a class board section. And each of these is where your teachers are gonna be posting all the information that you need to know for day-to-day -day instruction. On the left-hand side, you'll see a series of icons. And there are, the main one is the digital sessions. So it's nice clicking on that. And what's going to happen is each day you're going to have live sessions and videos posted from your teachers. And that's this is where you would go to access those. So it's a quick, you know, click on the link and then it opens up that digital session. And as you go live, it's all integrated through Zoom. There are videos. And that's how your teacher is going to provide your instruction. So instead of uh, that teacher standing in front of a classroom each day and uh, talking to you guys, it's just going to be happening through this digital format. So uh, if you go back to, Samaya goes back to the top icon on the left, which is all classes. This is kind of like the, the digital hallway where she'd be walking down the halls at Sprayberry to get from one class to the other. So now she would go back and when it's time to go to a different class, 
you click on that class and everything opens up and it's the same format, just different information is based on that teacher. And then also on the left hand side, you will see there are assignment tabs, there are discussion boards, there's file upload. It's a very, very simple and laid out format so that everybody can navigate um, very quickly from place to place. But it's also, it's the same for no matter what class you're in, whether it's your first, second, third, or fourth class, the layout is the same, not to confuse it. So, Samias, so as you've logged in, have you found any issues with navigating the site or is it uh, pretty simple to use on your end? Wonderful. And if, uh, as you log into your class, if there's something that you don't know where to go or what to do, first point of contact is you definitely want to email that teacher. You want to reach out to them, say, because they're the ones, you know, it's just like a, a regular day at class. If you, you didn't know what's going on in your Spanish class, you wouldn't go to an administrator immediately and say, hey, I don't know what's going on in Spanish. You go directly to your Spanish teacher. So if there's any issues within the digital classroom of you not knowing where to go, first reach out to that, that teacher and if, you know, that uh, if you need additional support from there, you know, look into the tech support page and then we can uh, also provide you with some help. So, but that is the overall uh, view of how to log into CTLS. Now, if you are a student who is using a Cobb County device, uh, the login process is the same, except for when you open up that link, what you're gonna see, I'm uh, sorry, when you open up your computer, you'll see an icon on your desktop that says CTLS Learn. You're gonna click on that icon and then from there, it's gonna be the exact same information that we've just showed you with Samaya. You're gonna log in the same way with your Office 365 information. And then when you get into CTLS, it's exactly what we're looking at right now, just minus uh, the classes that Samaya has, but it's just gonna be your specific classes. So, but that is, uh, that's the idea of CTLS. And it is a, uh, we're super excited about the school year. We're super excited about using this feature. We think it's gonna be a, uh, great thing to overcome the fact that we can't come to school in person and we're going to do it all digital so uh samaya thank you very much for taking a little bit of time out today to do this for us and um, from there from there we're going to go and then uh, let you enjoy the rest of your your summer and then we will see you guys bright and early remember that first block starts tomorrow at 8 a.m and it's a little bit earlier than everybody a uh, little bit earlier than normal and uh but at the same time, we're out super early in the day. So, but, good. but again, Samaya, thank you very much for that. And uh, Yellow Jackets, we will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the summer.